you're likely to see several questions regarding pipe joints on your exam. So I want to cover it here by way of introduction and then we'll cover it again later in this lesson. So let's look at the different types of pipe joints uh, used for the different materials of pipe. First we have asbestos cement. Now asbestos cement pipe is not installed anymore because of the asbestos, yet they still exist in many systems around the country. Well, the types of couplings or joints you have is a coupling uh, with a rubber ring gasket, and that's used in all locations. The next type of material, much more common uh, today, is ductile iron. Ductile iron can be connected with push-on joints or mechanical joints, and for long runs, the push-on joint is the most common, and its application is uh, general use where flexibility is required. Next is the flanged joint. The flange joint for ductile iron is used where valves or fittings are installed in vaults or above grade. You generally won't see a flanged joint buried, so a flanged joint needs to be in an exposed location. Next is the flexible ball joint, and that's used at river crossings or over very rugged terrain. And then finally we have the restrained joint and that's installed in unstable soil to resist thrust forces. So a restrained joint, well it's either or. It's either unstable soil or if there's a, a thrust force is going to be applied at that joint, a restrained joint will be applied. Next is concrete. The type of joints we see used for concrete pipe is a galvanized steel ring, a bell and spigot with rubber gaskets. And these joints are used in all locations. Next is the plastic type of joint. And when we talk about plastic pipe or plastic uh, material, we're talking about HDPE and PVC. So for HDPE pipe, the heat fusion is the type of joint. So that's used on the HDPE, the high density polyethylene. And then for PVC pipe, we have solvent welds, which are only used on small diameter lines. And then for the larger diameter, PVC pipe, we use bell and spigot with rubber O-rings. Next is steel. There's many different joints for steel. Uh, the first being the mechanical sleeve coupling, and that can be used on all diameters, uh, but more uh, specifically, it's usually used in the smaller diameters. Then there's the rubber gasket joint, and that's used in low pressure applications. Welded joints are used in high pressure applications and on pipe diameters that are 24 inches or greater. Flange joints are used where valves or fittings are attached to the steel pipe. So if you're going to be attaching valves or other fittings, you would use a flanged joint. And then finally, expansion joints are used where pipe expansion or ground movement is likely. So you want to remember these different types of joints for the different types of pipe material.